I'm trying to read. Well, try sounding out the letters. It could help. I mean the paper. OK, you're one of three people under the age of 50 who still read those in print. Well, call me old-fashioned. I just did. What's this? Mr. and Mrs. Weston are pleased to announce the marriage of their son, Sam. What? To... Sam and Patricia? I so called it. <laughs> You did not. Um, without me, that invitation wouldn't even exist. What did you do? I worked my magic. Please, you did nothing. Um, I set them up. I invited them to my party. They hit it off. Voila. That's not working magic. That's making a guest list. Whatever. Fine. Think what you want. You always do anyway. I don't care what you think, because I could do it again and again and again and again. Then do it. All right, I will with someone you know well. Sorry I'm late. I got held up. It's OK. I've been meaning to talk to you about something, Eleanor. What? I would like to set you up on a date with someone. <sighs> no. Come on, you know you don't go out enough anyway. I do too. So, who's the lucky guy? Uh, I have not quite decided yet, but Eleanor, please. How about you help me with a different romantic problem? What? Getting me out of a date. Really? Don't act so surprised. All right. Who is it? Colin. Colin, Colin? <gasps> Eleanor! Hi. You look radiant today. Thank you. So, where are you headed? Work. Oh, that's too bad. I, I thought we might get some breakfast together. Oh, I already ate. Mm. Thanks. Dinner then? Plans with friends. Oh, me too. <laughs> ah, the weekend then. Friday, 7 p.m. My apartment. In his apartment? Oh, is this the creepy neighbor guy? <laughs> That's pushing it mildly. Wait, um... I make a wonderful stew. I don't think I can. But you don't have plans. How would you know? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, do you? No. Why didn't you just make something up? I couldn't. I I'm a horrible liar. That's true. No, the problem is you're just, you're too sympathetic. I promise it wouldn't have mattered. Why? Well, you rarely go out on Fridays. Probably because you're tired after a hard week of work. How would you know that? Well, uh, it's a guess from what I've seen. Friday then. Can't wait. Wait, maybe we can go out to eat, like the promenade or some other place that's public. As you wish. Just call him and cancel. Tell him you had plans you didn't know about. Like the date Emma wants to set you up with. I couldn't. He's not too bad. He's just not my type. He's not anyone's type. You know, he was just so insistent and hopeful I couldn't break his heart. Well. At least you get dinner out of it. Isn't that something you women say to console yourselves about a bad date? In this case, the only consolation is I changed it to a public venue. Which was very clever, by the way. Thank very you. Good, good move, good move. You're home early. You're in your pajamas. So? Eating cereal? It's a late breakfast. It's 5.30. <laughs> no, it's 11.45. When you hung that up, did you put batteries in it? Uh, do you have batteries here? No. Then no. Here. Ugh. I am so sick of job hunting. That way you can buy batteries. And besides, it'll get you out of the apartment. No, it's so much more fun just to stay home. I'm really surprised you don't want to get out and meet guys. They all have jobs, so I'd have to wait until later anyways. Yeah, they have jobs, so think of who you could meet and all the time you could spend together. Uh, yes, this one has four bedrooms and two baths. Uh, no, just the two. No, that was the other house that we saw, the one that backs up to the warehouse. Yeah. OK, sure. I'll let them know. OK. Bye-bye. 
Lizzie Bennett. I need to see another house. How soon can you schedule it? I'm free tomorrow afternoon. Who's this? William Darcy. Uh, okay. So? I'm confused. Clearly. I wasn't expecting you to call. Well, I needed to see another property, and my options were to call you or break in. And what about the other 3,000 realtors in this town? Are you refusing your services? <sighs> What's the address? So, do you think this Cullen guy really likes you? I'm afraid so. You're lucky he hasn't gone after you yet. Probably will after I stomp on his heart. I'm not looking forward to that. Why? Just, just tell him. I know, but think of how he'll feel. I mean, what if he makes a scene? I should have done it at his apartment. For your sanity and your safety, my professional opinion, have witnesses. How bad do you think I'm gonna hurt him? I'm more worried about how awkward he's going to make things now. The whole neighbor thing. Maybe we should move. <sighs> yeah. Can't stay long. I have two more showings. Busy day? Mm. You have no idea. And I think I have a new client. Ooh, who? William Darcy. You took him on? Well, no, he called me, but I can't really say no to the money. Well, why not? It's been busy. Well, I've been showing a lot of properties, but not very many contracts. He's going to be such a difficult client. Oh, you think? You know, some people say, oh, he's such a nice guy, but I do not see it. Are they blood relatives? <laughs> Must be. So how is he to work with? Stubborn. I mean, he is a great lawyer, but doesn't he know it? Ugh. Any ideas? Stand your ground and just remember you're in charge. Well, he's the one with the money, so technically. <laughs> but you know exactly what you're doing. Don't let the chip on his shoulder let you forget that. Yeah. Yeah. OK. I gotta run. Oh. Oh, we'll see ya. What's up? Art? No. I call this my job analysis board. Still at it, huh? Oh, yeah, baby. That's what we have. Ooh, photographer at a modeling agency bookkeeper for a family-owned construction company. You don't have background in either of those. No, but I can learn. Plus, it doesn't really matter at this stage. Stage? I am narrowing it down to what I really want to do. And you want to keep books? <laughs> you do realize that's accounting, right? Kind of like my boring job? Yes, but at a construction company. OK, you lost me. Why is that so exciting? Construction, hot, ripped guys, Walking around in hard hats, smiling at me all day? Mm. No, 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 no. Sweaty guys with beer bellies. And it's a family-owned company, so what if the family's not much to look at? Ooh, bad genes. You know, maybe you should look according to the skills you have. Eh. Ooh. May I help you? Hi, uh, I'm here to see... Oh, you're Miss Woodhouse's friend. Yeah, but actually I'm not here to see her. Would you let William Darcy know that I'm here? Sure. Your name again? Lizzie, uh, Elizabeth Bennett. Mr. Darcy, Miss Bennett is here to see you. He'll be right out. Thanks. The appointment's at three, isn't it? Yes, but there was something I wanted to discuss beforehand. And what was that? My commission. Well, I found the property, so 2%. The basement has flooded three times within the last four years. Now, you probably would find that out eventually, but how much time do you really want to waste? What are you proposing? Let me do my job and compensate me accordingly. Meaning I pay you whatever percentage I think you're worth when our business is done? No. Full commission. I'm worth it. Yeah, we'll see. You wouldn't have called me again if you didn't think so. Fine. Cancel the flooded house and find me some better options. OK. Hey, you. Hey. hey, what's going on? We are here to help you with your column problem. Yeah, she forgot that uh, most of her advice is geared towards making people fall in love with each other. I'm open to any help I can get. Okay. What are you wearing? I'll show you. Okay. 
So can I ask, what is this? That is my job hunting board. Really? Hmm. <laughs> Laugh at me. I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> How's this? Um, it's nice. See, the idea is to scare him away. He doesn't scare away. Mm, try something else. Oh, and talk about your ex-boyfriends. All of them. That's a turn off, right? Definitely. All of them? That would take five minutes. I haven't had as many boyfriends as you. She has a point, you know. I don't have that many. How do you like this? <sighs> Yeah, it's not my favorite. That could work. Maybe. No, no, no. Does he know anything about fashion? No. Mm -mm. Then he might actually still think that's cool. <laughs> He'd be the only one. <laughs> All right, besides my clothes, what else would repel him? Oh, talk about money. Play the gold digger. Nice. Yeah, that's good. Oh, what, you have millions of women chasing after you for your fortune? Oh, well, yeah, they hear what I do and they think I'm loaded. Are you? That is irrelevant. <laughs> Don't judge her. Okay. Are you painting on this date? Oh, that shirt makes me feel sad. So it could work. No, no, it's casual, but you don't look bad. Okay, change. <laughs> you want something that's unflattering as possible. Yes. Lifeless, unfitting, dull color, baggy even. Baggy's good. I don't know. You want something, something like that? Bingo. I wore this all day. Oh, ooh. <clears throat> oh. Let's see what you got. <clears throat> okay. This first one is 3,500 square feet. It's really underpriced. I'm gonna need something bigger. Okay, how many square feet? At least 5,000. Stone or brick exterior only, built in the last five years. OK. That's it? Well, no, I can find more. It's just. I don't even think I need to tell you. I expect better than this. Well, had I known some of your criteria beforehand. You didn't ask, did you? Fine. Is there anything else I should know about what you're looking for? Yes. It should appeal to women. Specifically, one woman. So you're buying a house for her? Yep. Well, if you're done wasting my time, I actually have something better to do. I hope you agree with this choice of restaurant. Yeah. I really like it here. It used to be really hard to find a table, but then some incident about an inspection drove the crowds away. Drove the prices down too, which is wonderful since I'm frugal by nature. Now I know. <laughs> the chicken is excellent. I recommend the Brussels sprouts as a side dish. Okay. Great. I'll tell the waitress. Wait, I think I want a salad. Excuse me, miss. We'll have the chicken because it's excellent. Go. Oh, you're the best. Mm -hmm. Hey, explain this to me. Oh, job options. Yeah, but what's all the marks for? Well, this one, for instance, offers good pay, which is why there's four dollar signs. Ah, and the hurts? A scale from one to five on dating potential, <laughs> which is why that one only has one. An assistant at an insurance office. Exactly. Fair enough. So why does this office clerk at a vet clinic getting three hurts? Well, I figure if the guy likes animals, he should get a bonus. <laughs> That's assuming he's single, though, right? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. OK, so are you applying for all of them? Oh, no, there's way too many. Well, how are you going to narrow it down? <gasps> Ooh. I want to play. No. no. Oh, you hold it. You first. How was your meal? Fine. You don't have to act like you have no appetite. I know how women think that's attractive. Maybe to validate how thin they are. That's not what I'm doing. Well, you're thin enough for most to think attractive. Thanks. You're welcome. Ah, I need your help with something. My help? Yes. You see, 
I've admired you for some time now, which is why I chose you. About that, Colin, I'm really flattered that you would... <laughs> Please, don't interrupt. What I'm trying to say is, I've come to love your friend Lizzie. Lizzie? Yes. There is a fiery sweetness in her if I've ever seen such a thing. Lizzie. Yes. Then why did you ask me out? Well, because I think she's shy around me. Just as you were before we spoke the other day. Shy? <sighs> I'm used to this. I must intimidate women by my good looks and intelligence. But I'm really down to earth once you get to know me. Yes. You're very grounded in reality. So I need her to get to know me. Which is where you come in. I don't think I can help. I don't think Lizzie's the one for you. <laughs> Please, don't be brokenhearted because of my lack of interest in you. I'm not. I'm certain Lizzie's the right one. I'm not so certain. It only matters that she get to know the real me. Not the one that she's placed on a pedestal. Okay, I'm sorry, how am I supposed to help? What women friends say to each other can help influence opinion. You need to help her see me as more than just a neighbor. So you think that just by talking about you, that's going to help? <laughs> no, no, no. I have other plans. But when I start to make her fall in love with me, I suspect she'll try and resist. Women always do. Can I be frank with you? Please. I don't feel comfortable with this. Are you saying no? Essentially. Well, give it some thought. I'm sure you'll change your mind, but in the meantime, don't spoil it for Lizzie. What? Don't tell her of my feelings for her. I want her to be surprised. I think that's inevitable. I know you'll keep my secret anyway. You do? Well, I know you, Eleanor. You're honorable. Too polite to spoil the hunt. I think I want to go now. <laughs> oh, uh, are you not feeling well? No. Yes. I'm sick. Oh, well, then I'll cover the check now, and you can pay me when I see you again. Okay, what about this one? That one's to ask me out. Okay. What about these two? Is that Eleanor's? Uh, no, it's not. Okay. Ooh. What about... Okay, so that is cute and responsible, that... That's it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, do it. Okay, thank you very much. Now all you need are some job interviews. Yes, and that is a task for another day. <laughs> Hi. Hiya, how'd it go? He is insufferable. Mm -hmm. So, what's his name again? Darby? Darcy. Darcy. Ooh. Ooh, even the sound of his name makes my blood boil. <clears throat> Maybe it's just not worth putting up with him. Oh, no. I can't give up now. He'd think he'd won, and then he'd really start gloating. Um, he always looks like he's gloating, so... <sighs> oh, you look how I feel. You too? <sighs> so, tell us, did you scare him off? Not really. I don't think a second date's in his plans. They're certainly not mine. I still don't know why you didn't just make up an excuse. It's too late for regrets now. At least I survived. So, what happened? I don't want to relive it. I just want to forget. Good luck with that. Just makes me wish I'd stayed home all day, you know? Oh, I hear ya. Some days, why even bother getting out of bed? Exactly. Hey, how did the interview go? Not good. And this was your first choice? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay, I just... I spent all this time trying to find the perfect job and I forgot it wasn't just up to me. What was the job? Therapist at a sports medical center. Therapist? Yeah, I was thinking more of a shrink, not actual physical therapy. Okay, ignoring the fact that you are not a psychologist, it was sports medicine. They don't have shrinks. Well, maybe they should. Athletes have feelings, too. <sighs> Is that clock right? Yes, it has batteries. Oh, I have to go. I have another interview. What's the job? Astronomer. What? You know, like horoscopes and stuff. 